uh, Felix Diaz back with another YouTube video. In this video, we're gonna talk about an update to my lawn care business in 2023. So um, as of today, it's been an entire month of me being in business. Um, and I currently sit at 31 clients and we have made, I say we, it's just me, but I have made uh, $2,173 uh, from March 21st to April 21st. So as of today, um, a lot of things that I've learned from starting out with just one ego mower and one 2.5 amp battery and one 40 watt battery on a cobalt um, uh, weed eater or trimmer. Um, it's been one hell of a journey. And for me now sitting with two ego mowers, six batteries, two ego weed eaters, like it's possible guys. Like, I don't know who out there is like at a job that they hate or I can't find work or, you know, I can't afford it or I can't go to my friend, my family for money to like get the business started. started. Um, I'm gonna give you some tips in this video, uh, you know, after I, I tell you about my update on how to get equipment maybe sometimes not spending a single dime. And I'm gonna share a story about that on here as well. So sitting at 31 customers, uh, I'm based in Northeast Florida. And I thought in the beginning, how can I land more clients? And I've learned that I've under quoted and I've given cheap estimates to places that maybe should have been in the ballpark where I am now a month into this, right? So when I first started, I just wanted a customer. I just wanted people to say, yes, come service my lawn. And I was doing a you know $45 special, full service, uh, front yard, backyard, you know, edging, mowing, and blowing. And because in the beginning I was so, you know, just hungry for a client that I was under cutting myself to say, yeah, sure. Like I'll, I'll do it for that price. But now that, you know, and that happened on my first, like probably 10 clients, I say 10, I was gonna say 15, but my first 10 clients were like 45, 45, 50, you know, 35, 35, 40, like stuff like that. Right. But now that I've been in it for a month, I have clients now that I have a hundred dollar like client, which is sounds crazy. But here in Florida, we have that, uh, St. Augustine grass, right? 100 bucks for her property. Then I have other clients now that are between 85 and 75, 65. That's more where I wanna be, right? Like I wanna be able to hit, like today, I woke up at 6, uh, thir 6 15, got to my first client at 6 15, um, and buy, I did three houses this morning because I am working the lawn care business part time as I work another job. Um, I made $225 in three houses. Like that's kind of what I wanna, you know, for me, that's good extra money. And I can't imagine like tomorrow on a Saturday, I'm gonna go do like, I think on my route right now, I have like 10 houses, fully electric. I know some people are like, oh, how do you do that? We're gonna work it as if we were working an eight hour shift at like a corporate job or a nine to five, right? We'll go out, hit as many houses as we can. Some places are very, we have some very kind customers that say, hey, when you're cutting, you could charge right here um, on the fast charges that we have for all our ego tools. Um, we don't do it typically a lot, but when it, they offer it or it's a commercial property and they let us do it, we say, okay, cool, let's knock it out. Um, so when we're blowing or edging, our other batteries are charging from other jobs at their location. So it's super helpful. Um, and they love that we're you know eco-friendly and there's no fumes, there's no gas, there's no noise. There is a little vibration, but not a lot of noise running an all electric lawn care business. Um, as I think about where I'm headed, you know, uh, I'm st I still want a riding lawnmower. I want to go with the Ego 42 inch uh, E6, six battery capacity, you know, cuts 2.5 acres on four batteries. I'm trying to go on that. And I've looked on Facebook Marketplace for a ton of deals. Um, but I wanted to make this quick update video to say that it's possible, guys. Like, I know you might be watching this video or you found my channel, I don't know how, or you follow me on social media like Instagram or Facebook, wherever it is, right? And you're saying like, man, I wanna get started, but I don't know how. I'm gonna leave you with three tips right here on how you can go with zero, absolutely zero dollars to having your first 10 to 12 customers and 
it's worked for me and it's worked for friends that, I, that are in the same city as me that say, hey man, how did you get to 31 clients in, you know, in 30 days? Because technically that's how, this is how I did it. So what I ended up doing was um, how I got started. I went on Facebook Marketplace. I obviously you guys know I work another job, but I didn't want to go 800, 1,000, two thousand dollars in and try to get the best mower and the best truck and the best i was in the pathfinder by the way the back the third row seating i folded those back and i put all my tools there a shovel a rake my gloves and the the mower 100 bucks i typed in ego mower and that was like at the time in a cobalt mower is like what i was looking for and i just i was honest i told the person like hey like I'm looking to make a second income. I noticed that you have this mower on here for 175, would you take a hundred bucks? And at first they were, well, let me see. Cause like, I want to make money and I get that. Like everybody's trying to make a little bit of money, right? So I decided, I said, okay, cool. I'm going to try and wait. And if it's meant for me, it will be for me. And it just so happened that a hundred dollars, a few nights later, he said, Hey man, come pick it up. No battery. Um, nothing, right? Like, and I wasn't going to cut grass. I wasn't doing anything, but every two weeks I paid myself first a little bit of money, whether it's a hundred, seventy-five dollars, fifty, whatever. And I slowly started building like my lawn care business and not like as of clients of tools that I needed to at least go cut a yard. Right. So, um, after I got the Cobalt or the uh, ego mower. I went to my local Lowe's, and if you go into the departments, you can ask the department manager, "Hey, do you got anything that's last year's season?" And I mean, I'm telling you this because some people think that you got to go in there and spend three hundred, four hundred. It's not true. So the Cobalt combo set with a battery, a four amp battery, the charger, the um, weed eater, like everything last year's model i got that for 100 so i know like i'm 200 dollars in right but like it's normally like 180 179 uh he took it down because he discounted it for me and said yeah this is from last year it's been up here on the shelf like do you want it I said yes let's do it so now i'm in 200 dollars. those two items got me to my first 10 clients and it didn't like it didn't last me how I thought it would. So like, obviously I had to charge, I had to do a couple of different things. I didn't have a blower, so I was only offering mowing and edging. So like, I was just getting started. So it's like a part of the process, right? Like it, you're just getting started. Um, and then those 10 clients, how I got them. I went on Facebook Marketplace and I posted, like I've, if I was selling the Ego Mower, right? But instead of putting the Ego Mower in the description, I put Lawn Care Services. And I put my minimum price of $35 in the description. I put accepting new clients, um, first responder and military discounts available. And then the service area of like a couple cities, um, like, or not a couple cities, but a couple areas in my city that I would service or feel comfortable driving the Pathfinder to go service. So what ended up happening is, and I can send a screenshot or if you follow me on Instagram at DS Lawn Care Services, I can put a screenshot on my story and you can see like what it looks like inside Messenger. My phone started going crazy. 50, 100, uh, I have to decline people. Like, no, I don't go out that far. I don't have this. I never paid for an ad. I never paid for anything that, I didn't pay a single dollar in ads. That's, that's the thing, I didn't pay it for ads. I just made that Facebook marketplace, not like a swip swap, just in like if you were selling something on Facebook. And instead of putting the name of the mower or the name of the thing, I put three photos of my lawns that I've cut in the past, what I offer in a $35 minimum. And people were hitting me up, hitting me up, hitting me up, hitting me up. And then once I got to a certain point, what I ended up doing is I got a tool called Jobber, which I'll link a description uh, down below, which you can sign up and check that out. And it got me organized, right? So like my first 10 clients, I'm texting, I'm sending in invoices, I'm collecting their credit cards, being able, and there's different tiers that you can sign up for, but Jobber got me or organized. And like, I learned how to use the tool by myself. I had a good, a cool guy named Ryan who called me and kind of walked me through the steps. So I'm like, hey, this is what you should be doing. Or And at first I was like, well, I don't think I need Jobber because like 
I'm not that big. And he was like, nah, I think you're d discrediting yourself. Like you're gonna need it. And I'm glad I did. Cause now I have my whole list of clients, um, awaiting payments, past due payments, um, text message buttons that text my customers as I'm running late or, you know, it's just a really cool tool. And I'll leave a link, like I said, down below. But what I want you to understand is that like, you know, nothing's going to be easy about this process, right? Like no one really wants to be out, like, unless you like nature and you like being outside for me, like I'm using it as a time to exercise. It's alone time for me. I have three kids and a wife and like, you know, it's, um, I'm using it as that time to be able to get away, do something, make money as well. Um, but it's like a secure thing. Like, you know, that at the end of the cut, you're getting paid, right? Like, you know that once you put in the time and you wake up and you do all the things, like you're gonna see that money. Um, and I'm just gonna explain like jobber. So like when I go and do a yard, I charge the card on file if they've added one, or if not, if they could pay me cash. But normally it goes through jobber payments and two days later, I got money in my bank account from like, you know, the jobs that I did that day. So um, that's the update for Diaz Lawn Care Services, uh, 31 clients in 30 days absolutely mad um and i'm still trying to save as much as i can for a riding mower um i did take a small family loan like not from my mom or dad but somebody from my wife's side um to get a truck so i have a ford ranger now so like you know that kind of helped me as well like um but you got to take risk and you got to choose you first sometimes right like if there's something that you want to do or there's something that you want to, you know, achieve, like it's not going it, to, it's not meant for like it to happen right then and there. And I've been watching a ton of videos on Instagram and Facebook that say like, oh, it's not about the nice, how you pull up in a Ford Raptor pulling an enclosed trailer and all that. Like that, 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 I think that'll come. That'll come at later, right? Like obviously I'd love to have a Ford Raptor and I'd love to have my ego, you know, uh, enclosed trailer with solar panels on the top because we're fully electric batteries all on the walls multiple tools like yeah i i see that right but it's going to take time for that to come so until then i put away a certain amount of money from every yard service if it's a 35 dollars, i put away 15 if it's you know whatever i'm putting stuff away to be able to fulfill the major like vision for my lawn care business, right? I've applied for a couple grants, jobbers offering grants for people who are starting in, you know, any home-based service, so lawn care, pressure washing, uh, gutters, things like that. So check that out. Um, I also applied for a, I'm Puerto Rican, so there's a like a Hispanic heritage grant I applied for as well. Um, you know, and if those things were destined for me and I do get accepted in that, like that knocks out the trailer, that knocks out the riding mower. And then it, now we become more efficient, right? Um, and over everything, I also want to give back to the community. So I do go to certain houses that I see that they're overgrown. I knock on their door. Hey, I noticed that like this is overgrown. Do you want me to take care of it for you? Um, and we try to do that twice a month to give back to the community. Um, so, you know, it's not always about accepting, accepting, accepting. You want to give sometimes as well. But I know that the video has gone a little bit over than I thought it would. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video, subscribe down below, follow me on social media. That's where I post a lot of my stuff. And I uh, just wanted to go ahead and make this video with a quick update on how my lawn care business went from uh, March 31st or 21st to April 21st, sitting now at 31 clients. See you in the next one.